Alright, welcome to another Todd's Two Minute Tech Tip Tuesday. Brought to you by the National RV Training Academy. The only academy that gives you the credentials to become a certified tech and or certified inspector. Let's talk dog bones. Let's set the situation for you. You got a 50 amp RV and you pull into a site that only gives you 30 amps. Not a problem. You've been equipped with this dog bone. You plug it into 30 amps and it feeds your 50 amps. There's a lot of confusion on how this works, so I want to talk about that today. First thing I want to do is I want to cut away the sheet to kind of show you what it looks like. Here we have a 30 amps going into our 50 amps. Now last week we kind of went over that a 50 amp service gives you two legs. Two legs. All right, so here the first thing I want to show you is if it has two legs on your 50 amp, I want you to look carefully at how many wires are on this dog bone. There's only three. We have our black, which is hot. We have our white, which is our neutral, and our green, which is our ground. We don't have that second leg. I know this gets kind of confusing showing you with electricity. So what I want to do is show you what that dog bone looks like in the terms of a water hose. So let's look at it this way. We'll put the numbers right here. My 30 amp service is going to give me 3,600 watts. My 50 amp service right here, one leg is looking for 6,000 watts. This leg is looking for 6,000 watts. So as you see, I've got 3,600 watts. It's all I have to feed these two legs. Over here, depending on what I turn on, I can get, I'm looking for a maximum of 6,000 watts. And on this leg, a maximum of 6,000 watts. 50 amp service, two legs. The maximum that it can ask for is 12,000 watts. All I'm getting is 3,600 watts. So this is what we want to look at when we're talking about this dog bone here is to be careful because we can always turn on more things and request for more electricity than what the dog bone can provide. What if you only have 15 amps? You're only talking 1800 watts. Trying to feed up to 6,000 watts here or 6,000 watts here. We need to be very careful when it comes to these dog bones. Yes, you can get your power to the whole rig, but the maximum that you're gonna be able to use is 3,600 watts. So if you find yourself in those situations where you're having to use your dog bone, the best thing to do and the best practice is to go ahead and write down what you can use. Go ahead and get you a piece of paper, write down that the average air conditioner is anywhere from uh, 1200 watts to 2400 watts. Write it down so that way you're aware of how much electricity you're using and you won't have that issue of burning these up. If you want to be able to fix 80% of the problems on your RV, check out our home study course at the nrvta.com website. If you'd like to earn an income and create a business while on the road, check out our website at nrvta.info, fill out the form, and start your business today. Original. All right. How do I want to put this? Can't work with this crap. You got a 50 amp. All right. You know what that's for? You're going to figure that out. Two legs. See? Yesterday. Last time. Oh. So I'll put that there. Yeah. Well, hey. I said barbecue. That way you have. So, all right. But we're separating it out. We're taking this one flow. Let me see how I can say this. No, you had to spell that one out for me. I'm tired. <laughs> no, no, that's going to be good. Right? My 50 amp service. Yeah, that, that's, that's good. I'm dying over here. <laughs> Keep, keyboard warrior! Ding. Got it. Can you go ahead and cook your coffee? Damn it, I said it again. Who cooks coffee? I, you do, evidently, because <laughs> that's a thing. Right. All right. And I'm just holding this the whole time. This the whole time. Your, your, hmm. Fro nose photo. All right. You don't have the luxury of burning this up. <laughs> 